Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As uh, we all are aware of this, actions have consequences. And if you do not uh, take into consideration the consequences uh, of your actions, then you will be surprised and unprepared for to react to whatever consequences you created. In this case, we have United States, we have China, and we have Taiwan. <sighs> we have this uh, President Biden in office, and this guy made a ga gaffe about uh, I don't know, six months ago, something like that, five months ago, when he said that when he was asked, you know, all, Biden is not all there, all right? He has an impediment right now due to his age, unfortunately, but uh, more unfortunate <laughs> is we or us who have to put up with this guy uh, because he's uh, our leader, our representative actually. So when he was asked by a reporter about Taiwan, if United States would defend Taiwan against a Chinese attack, he said yes, and then uh, the US military will defend it. And then uh, five minutes after Biden went to fall asleep, after he showed up, he was showed to the press and then taken and put to sleep again. Someone came out, an official, and said, no, 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 that's not what he meant. Anyway, no, we will not defend it. They were not ready. You know, remember the little slope. They were not ready to come and tell us that in case that China attacks Taiwan to get Taiwan back or whatever euphemism you want to use, United States will militarily attack China, be at war with a nuclear power. Well, they did it. They said it today, right? Or not today, but today was aired uh, by what? 60 minute interview with Joseph Biden, right? I think that's when it was uh, aired. This article comes from Reuters, September 18, 2022. Biden says US forces would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion. Are you ready to go and fight the Chinese? Well, remember, they have nuclear weapons and you go to fight, I don't know, six, five thousand miles across the Pacific Ocean on their turf. Do you think there's a chance that we win? Even if it's a conventional war, do you think we win? If yes, okay, I would give us a win. And what win would mean? All right, U.S. Pro Joe Biden said in an interview broadcast on Sunday, today, that U.S. forces, and I think it was recorded on Thursday, U.S. forces would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion, his most explicit statement so far on the issue. The thing is this, this was recorded on Thursday, and they didn't take it out of the inter from the interview that, that, that was aired Sunday. So from Thursday until Sunday, the White House decided, not the White House, the military uh, industrial complex and other handlers of our elected officials decided that that should not be taken out of the, from the interview. That means they agreed with this guy. Remember, six months ago, they didn't. They came immediately and said, no, 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 Kirby, I think. Kirby came and said, no, 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 we, did, we, do, we do not. No, 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 no. He just, you just, you just misunderstood. Not he misspoke. You misunderstood. Everything was very clear. But, all right. In case, in case China decides to invade Taiwan, Will the U.S. military intervene and defend Taiwan? Uh, yes. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle out of the room. And we misunderstood all this. It's available. Go on YouTube and watch it. All right. Asked on, in a CBS 60-minute interview whether U.S. forces would defend the self-ruled island claimed by China, he replied, he replied, yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. I don't, okay, all right. Asked to clarify 
if he meant that unlike in Ukraine, US forces, men and women would defend Taiwan in the event of a Chinese invasion, Biden replied, yes. All right, so um, it says, asked to, to comment, a White House spokesperson said, US policy towards, towards Taiwan has not changed. Okay, well, the president has said this before, including in Tokyo earlier this year. That's why he was. He also made clear that then that our Taiwan policy hasn't changed, that it remains true. Then they said, no, no, we didn't mean we are okay with China one policy, but they never said we're going to intervene military or something like that. Uh, the CBS interview with Biden was conducted last week. The president is, the, is in Britain for Queen Elizabeth's funeral on Monday. The United States has long struck to a uh, stuck to a policy, has stuck with a policy of not making clear whether it would respond militarily to an attack on Taiwan. In May, Biden was asked if he was willing to get involved militarily to defend Taiwan, and he replied, blah, 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 blah. yes, that's the comment we made. That's the commitment we made. That's what he said. So in the 60-minute interview, Biden reiterated that the United States did not support Taiwanese independence and remained committed to one China policy in which Washington officially recognizes Beijing, not Taipei. Yeah, but then they would militarily intervene and defend them if those guys uh, actually exercise their right to rule Taiwan, which the United States recognizes, <laughs> or what? I don't know. Um, so this is clear right here. What is this? This is second. Uh, it's Ukraine part two. Different actors. The problem here is that the United States says we will intervene. I bet if United States decides to intervene in something like that, I think United, this is going to be our downfall. Not only downfall, because we are in a slow, tight, not Titanic, because that was fast. But, you know, slow going down, sinking, big ship, big shit, ship shit, the same thing here. So this is what's going to happen. And it's going to be a big crisis that you and I will have to bear because these idiots could not talk and negotiate and say, hey, guys, wait a second. They still want to be the rulers of this planet and everybody else, which still with grew balls don't want to allow that to happen and these guys do not want to let go the problem is this is the problem you have an old king challenged by some younger kings okay or princes and he thinks that he, he's still young in his youth he probably would have been able to beat them in the same time i'm talking about russia and china now this is a bankrupt country full of inflation and uh, the country socially is broken. What do you think this country is going to do? What economy we have? Service economy. Sorry for the gesture, but that's economy we had. Do we produce shit? Yeah, a computer. <laughs> and weapons? Yeah, that's all we need, right? How about food? How about medication? How about antibiotics? They come from China, don't they? It's very much tangled, clothes and other things. But this is dangerous. I'm waiting to see what China would say. I will let you know either tonight or tomorrow morning because I'm certain China will have a response already. So we'll find out. Thank you very much. I think that's irresponsible, but whatever. <laughs> Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.